Welcome to NWA Wildside, everyone. Stephen Prezak is over. Soon to be joined by Dan the Dragon Wilson here at the broadcast position as Cross takes on the visiting Cajun Kid. Cross has made some serious inroads in recent weeks here at Wildside. And actually, many people believe that the uh, greatest unsung talent here at Wildside is indeed Cross. Well, he's got the look, he's got the size, and he's got the power, and definitely the ability. Cross has been on a very impressive winning streak here in Wildside. And while many people may say his competition level has been rather small, a win is a win, and a win in Wildside is better than that. Exactly, and for a lot of people, wins come somewhat rarely around here, as uh, we've seen firsthand. So Cross is not going to take anything for granted. I hope, I hope he's not taking the Cajun Kid for granted, because Cajun Kid comes in here with an abitimate advantage in some respect, because no one knows what he brings to the table. And Cross is finding out firsthand. Well, the Cajun Kid out of Morgan City, Louisiana, here is showing the best he's got against Cross. And when it comes to the best he's got, I'll tell you something about the best that we got here at Wildside, the very best junior heavyweight champion anywhere. That's, of course, Jimmy Rave. He's putting it on the line this week in our main event against TV champ Adam Jacobs. Of course, Adam Jacobs only has his TV title available for a defending shirt for the first 10 minutes of the match. From that point on, it's Jimmy Rave's junior heavyweight championship. Boy, this belt's are being defended. It's a flying here this week on Wildside. Lateral press by the Cajun Kid. A low blow by Cross. Not afraid to take a shortcut. But we all know that in this business, the shortcuts are sometimes the best cuts. The and old. the only successful cuts anyway. Uh, and of course, and if you're white trash, he likes the cold cuts. That is true. Grab suplex. And Cross hangs on. The Cajun Kid. And another snap. Cross going for what could be a trifecta here. Turns into a Michinoku driver, beautiful maneuver. Well, I thought he was going to make Creole out of the Cajun Kid. A little New Orleans, Louisiana reference. Cross firing back with the right hand. Here we are, a week removed from Freedom Fight 2001. I'm happy to report that the Freedom Fight 2001 videotape will be available from NCW Home Video in a matter of weeks. Stay tuned to this very program for availability of Freedom Fight 2001 on VTR. I want to see it myself. Into the midsection by Cross. He follows up. Oh, looks like Cross has a bit of a rip in his trousers. Either that or there's a moth problem here at the NCW arena that I'm not aware of. I know White Trash was pretty hungry before we started off. Uh, maybe he was munching down on, uh, on some clothing. I don't think so. Some not so welcome shades of Ed Leslie here in the ring. Never repeat the words Ed Leslie here ever again, Dan Wilson. Also, we're all abuzz over the, the end result of Freedom Fight 2001, where now Jeff Bailey has a new team available to his hire. That is, of course, the team of justice, and dare I say it, Stone Mouth. Scissor kicked by a cross. It looks like Cross could be going for the two de bras. He's got him in the clutches, and it's about time for a crucifix power bomb. Works for me, and apparently it worked for the Cajun Kid. The winner is Cross. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. 